Hey guys, Sascha von NetbookNews.com. We're over here in beautiful Berlin in Germany and we are attending the DroidCon. And we just stumbled upon the Sony booth and uh, I think yesterday during the bar camp they made a very exclusive launch over here because they launched a new Xperia Solar, which is an entry-level smartphone. It's based on a 1 GHz dual-core uh, processor from ST Ericsson. That's a Novothor U8500. Uh, which is based on a dual core ARM Cortex A9 and it also comes with the Mardi 400 GPU. So that means it's the same graphic performance as the Samsung Galaxy S2 that this little fellow is gonna fly while you're doing your latest uh, games uh, from the Google market. Oh no, now it's called Play. Anyways, um, let's take a quick look around the system. Um, it sports a 3.7 inch display. There's a power button over here. There's nothing on the bottom. And uh, we have a little camera button, the rocker for the volume, and there is a micro USB and a jack for your headset. There's a 5 megapixel camera on the back uh, with a flash LED, and I think um, there's also a camera on the front. But I would guess like a 1.3 or 2 megapixels, sorry. Maybe I should have read the specs before. <laughs> Anyways, the resolution of the display 854 uh, by 480, and it has 512 MBs of RAM and 8 gigabyte of flash memory. So let's switch it on because uh, you seen that? I've been actually not touching the display at all. Again, this again. is called floating touch. Watch out. Look at this. Oh, well now I touched it. You know what? How about using this one here? Because this one actually has a website open. And uh, hold on, hold on. Let me open the browser. Here we go. It's a presentation effect, I guess. Okay, now what you have to do is, let's use this one here again. Okay. Can you see that? Can you see the hover effect over the links? I'm not touching the display at all. That means you can also use I mean, which is a huge problem with capacitive touch screens, especially in the winter, right? You have some gloves on, and uh, again, you can see that, right? You have some gloves on, and you want to use your phone. You have to lock it first. Okay. And I have to unlock it. Okay. Just lock it and unlock it with your gloves, and there you go. Now it's in a kind of. I wouldn't say glove mode or cloth mode, but anyways, you can still wear your gloves and you can control your phone. But as soon as you're using your finger again, it's switching back and you're in this finger mode. It means right now if Nicole tries to touch it with her gloves, it doesn't work anymore. So that's really cool and that's definitely something new for the smartphone market and I hope that Sony especially will also uh, scale it up to their, to their tablet platform. What about the operating system? Right now it's running Android Gingerbread 2.3.7. Um, let me also show you a little bit about the camera. Let's make a little test shoot over here. That's pretty quick. Of course you can also use this little camera button here. There you go. How about the quality of it? Okay, that's a decent one with flash. Well, it's okay. I mean, I'm still a little bit shaky. I hadn't had any breakfast today. Anyways, that's the new Sony uh, Xperia Solar. It's going to be available in the mid of uh, Q2, which is going to be uh, May, I guess. 379 euros, maybe also 399 US dollars. Anyways, uh, the new Sony Xperia Solar with a floating touch over here at DroidCon 2012 in Berlin. I'm Sasha for NetBookNews.com. Thanks for watching.